Hello friends, you're getting a double dose of a blog this week, and this is less a blog and more of a hopefully brief public service announcement. Um, I noticed yesterday and then had it confirmed this morning on um, NPR that uh, Governor Abbott is lifting coronavirus restrictions in the state of Texas uh, to take effect as of next week, um, at least at the time of this recording. Um, and I, I think this will come as no surprise to uh, folks that I don't think this is a good idea of. Um, no, I want to be very clear about something. I am still a bit of a um, fan of economics. I understand economics. I'm still a bit of a fiscal responsible, fiscally responsible individual. That's part of my uh, being raised as a classic um, Republican and one of those views that I still embrace, not to get too political. All that to, to say, I say all that to say the part about opening businesses to full capacity, I understand that. There's an argument to be made for that. I understand wanting to get businesses back up and running and economic, economic growth back up and going. There's an argument to be made for that. I think there's a way to do that responsibly with a gradual rollout, but even if you want to do that all at one time, I, I get it. What I don't understand is the uh, repeal of the mask mandate. Because what you do is you simultaneously open businesses to full capacity and you remove um, the mask mandate. And guys, I believe in people's ability to make good choices and to do the right thing. I do, but I think when people have been so um, in quarantine for such a long time and under restriction for such a long time, I get it. The desire to not wear a mask, I understand it. My life would be so much easier if I didn't have to have to wear a mask, I get that. But I just think the research and what we have seen throughout the pandemic is that without some sort of government uh, emphasis or restriction, call it what you may, folks are not gonna wear a mask. And we know that wearing mask works. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is, yes, you have the freedom not to wear a mask, but remember that as people of Christ and as good citizens, I am responsible for you and you are responsible for me. And I can tell you the folks that will be hurt by this mandate are those under vaccinated populations, the folks that have been hurt most by this pandemic, the minority populations, and those with disabilities who have not yet had access or gotten access to a vaccine are gonna feel this most of all, and I guess why I'm encouraging you so strongly to continue wearing your mask is it's the neighborly thing to do, as I've said before, but we are so close. I believe we are two or three weeks away from a true tipping point where we can begin to see the numbers harden up 
and really see what we're beginning to see now, a dip in the caseload, a dip in hospitalizations that's beginning to happen now, but we're two or three weeks away from that taking hold and being a real reality. So do the right thing for just a little bit longer because it matters to me, it matters to my people and you may not feel the brunt of it. I may not feel the brunt of it. I'm gonna be fully, I, I got vaccinated with my second shot about two weeks ago. So I'm just entering fully protected status. But there are folks out there who aren't as privileged as I am. Remember that you have the freedom to do what you want, but we also live in a community. So I urge you to do the right thing, folks. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.